To me, is such a brilliant story. Scientists say they can cut HIV out of cells. Now, you and I have spoken at length about... I was a, a very junior doctor in an HIV ward, and I never want to see what I saw, which is young people who, who yeah. just wasted away and died. Mm -hmm. Now, we've come on enormously since then. So the advent of medication, we now have something called PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis, where you take a tablet every day, or, or not every day for some people, but it, it essentially stops you getting HIV. Amazing. Mm -hmm. It now, is amazing. Now, for those people who do have HIV, we also have medication now, so that's great, but it's a lifelong illness. The reason this is so interesting is scientists say they have successfully eliminated HIV from infected cells using CRISPR, CRISPR. which we talked about. And this mm. is basically CRISPR is a pair of scissors, essentially. Yeah, a very, very tiny pair. Tiny, tiny, <laughs> tiddly, tiddly scissors. And this tiddly scissors cuts DNA and you can move bits of DNA Take around. out bad bits. Take out bad bits. bits, exactly. And they have now done that against HIV. They used volunteers, which is extraordinary, actually, and they found that they can remove it completely. There are, there are possible long-term side effects. We simply don't know. But this is game-changing. It is game-changing. And actually, I have a patient, and she won't mind me talking about her, who has actually been written up in the case studies, who um, we did some blood tests, just general blood tests for something that we were going to do, and it said she had HIV. And I was absolutely astounded. I was like, no, this is wrong. It can't yeah. be right. I thought it might be a vaccine reaction because some vaccines can actually make an HIV test turn positive. So a false positive. A false positive. Yeah. But every time we did tests on her, they came up. I spoke to the... Um, UCH, which is the ex mm. Centre for Excellence for this, and the consultant there, who was very on side with me on the vaccine side effects, said, not in this case, it's too strong. But we couldn't find HIV anywhere in her body, anywhere. Eventually, her bloods were sent to Colindale and other places to test, and we eventually found it at DNA level. But she had effectively eliminated an HIV infection. There are very few people that have done that, but obviously what she could, her body couldn't do is change it at DNA level. So, so there are, you're right, there are very few people, very few. and those people seem to be cured, but you're right, not yeah. at DNA level, but mm -hmm. we don't know why. We don't know why, and so she's become obviously a very interesting patient, they're yeah. writing her up, but this could actually eliminate HIV at her DNA level. So, so is level. she taking meds? She isn't, but the only worry we have is she wants to have a baby, um, and obviously mm. when you're pregnant, you're immunosuppressed, and what we don't know is will that allow this DNA level HIV to raise its head again. And maternal to fetal transmission, yeah. of course, which is always yeah. a big concern. So very interesting. But, it, but actually there was an article, a line in that article just saying how fast medicine is evolving. And in fact, that leads me nicely to this story. A groundbreaking uh, new vaccine. This is scientists from the University of Oxford, the Francis Crick Institute and UCL have used technology similar to that used by Oxford Astra for the COVID vaccine. But obviously there was a lot of research done on that. We've learned an awful lot from that. And this is a groundbreaking lung cancer vaccine, mm. which is being developed. It works by using a strand of DNA, which trains the immune system to recognize red flag proteins in lung cancer cells. These are known as neoantigens, and it kills them. And the neoantigens appear on the surface of the cell because of cancer-causing mutations in the DNA. So it all goes back to the DNA again. There are 48,500 cases of lung cancer every year in the UK, 72% caused by smoking. And they go on, and this is the line. We are in a golden age of research, and that is absolutely spot on. It is. And, you know, what's interesting about that stat you just gave, David, 72% caused by smoking, it used to be 95%, yeah. but now it isn't. And we're seeing a lot more people who have never smoked get in a different form, slightly different form of lung cancer to that which smokers get. But something like this, if it works without side effects, and that's obviously the, the golden sure. question, it would be a game changer for them. So this would be offered to people that have had lung cancer, have had treatment, but to stop the recurrence.